Today I want to share with you my recipe for grilled artichokes. A lot of people are not big fans of the artichoke. A lot of people think it's too much effort, not enough reward. And a lot of people are wrong. Hopefully I can change their minds with this video. Okay, for this recipe, we're going to want two to three good-sized artichokes. I'm going to do three today because we like artichokes and why not? Uh, one lemon cut into quarters, a cup of olive oil, a tablespoon of minced garlic, a teaspoon and a half of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. A lot of these ingredients will be used to make the marinade, and then if there's any left over, it can also be used as the dipping sauce. Uh, so All right, to begin prepping on these artichokes, you just really want to cut off with some scissors. The ends of the leaves are a little bit pointy. Um, so what you're going to have is something like that. Then you want to clean up the stem just a little bit. Take all these loose leaves off, maybe cut off about an inch and a half, couple inches, depending on how big the stem is. And then take off the tops of the leaves on the tops of these artichokes. And then to cut these in half, so you end up with this, the easiest way is to cut it right down the center of the stem and all the way down. Now you want to take your halves and then let them soak in some cold water with one wedge of lemon squeezed into it. This is going to prevent them from browning while you're getting the grill and the stove prep for the next step. All right, I've got a large pot of water that I'm heating up. Once that comes to a boil, we'll take the artichokes that are soaking in their lemon water. We'll drain them slightly. We'll put them in here probably for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the size of your artichokes. These are a little bit larger, so I'm going to probably put them in here for about 15 minutes to soften them up before they go on the grill. Meanwhile, I've put all my ingredients, my salt, my pepper, my olive oil, my minced garlic, and my remaining lemon wedges, I've squeezed those into a medium-sized bowl. I've mixed this up. This is going to get brushed on the artichokes after they come out of the boil. And we'll continue to brush this on them while they're on the grill. And like I said, anything left over makes a great dipping sauce. If you run out of this, um, I love Italian dressing. Dip the artichokes in Italian dressing. Some people like mayonnaise. No accounting for taste in this world. But... Uh, there are no rules, a lot of different options for dipping. All right, while the artichokes are boiling, now is a good time to preheat the grill. We're going to be grilling these over a medium to medium high heat. Nothing too intense, and it's not going to take long once they're on here. Okay, these have been in the boil about 15 minutes, so they should be good and softened up. So we'll pull the artichokes out, put them in the colander, let them drain for a few minutes. Uh, because of the size of these, I can only do an artichoke and a half at a time in the boiling pot. So I've got three here that are already done boiling. Now we're just going to brush on our marinade slash dipping sauce. Give it a generous brushing, both sides, and then these will be ready for the grill. We'll do this. We're going to leave them on here for about five to ten minutes is all, uh, just enough to char the ends of the leaves. Um, we want to flip them often and keep brushing them with that marinade that we made earlier. I'll turn my heat down just a little bit because, yeah, we got some olive oil dripping. All right. We'll check on them about every minute, minute and a half. Keep flipping them, keep brushing them, and 10 minutes at most, and you're good to go. All right, these are looking perfect. We're going to pull them off of here, cover them up with foil just to get them inside, and lunch is served. 
um, as opposed to something like really any meat that you want to let rest after cooking or grilling, these you want to serve hot. Okay, this last segment we always like to call the moment of truth. So, here are the grilled artichokes, the leftover dipping sauce. I've been talking about Italian dressing, how much I love it. Turns out I didn't have any, so I got some champagne vinaigrette. Close enough. As I said, go crazy with your dipping sauce. So, what you want to do is peel off a leaf at a time. And at the end of this leaf, you got that nice little piece of meat there. And you just want to kind of scrape that off with your teeth, and you get a good little bite. As you get down further to the heart, the bits of leaves that are edible get bigger, and then when you get down to the heart, that's the real prize. Hmm. Perfect. All right, now when you get down to the bottom of this artichoke, you've got the heart. This is what makes it all worth it. I'm surprised how many people don't realize that you can actually eat the heart. Now when you get down here and all the leaves are gone, Here's my little pile of leaves. There's some fibrous hairs around the top of this thing. You're going to want to cut those off. They're not going to hurt you. They're not going to kill you. But they will get stuck in your throat and make you cough all day. Nobody wants that. So you just cut off them little hairs. And the stem, a lot of times, is edible too. Sometimes they're a little fibrous. Um, sometimes they're just fine. But that heart right there, that's what it's all about. All right, thanks for your time, and thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I've changed a few minds out there about the artichoke. Life is short. Eat well and enjoy yourselves. Mm. Cheers.